Okay, guys, great stuff. So I think this is a great question as well for practicing this um, process. So let's work through it. So you have question 74, as usual, have a good, you know, have a good strong attempt and then, um, you know, review my answers. Um, so we're, we're putting stuff into this process and then we have these three materials. Um, we have 700 kilograms at one pound 30 each. Right, let's do that. So you have 700 times one pound 30. And that's 910, right? So that's 910. And then we have 500 at one pound 12, and that's 560 pounds. So you have 500 at one pound 12. And then finally, you have 500 kilograms again, and this time at 72p, right? So that's 500 times 0 0.72, and that takes you to 300. 360. So we have in here, we have a total of 910, 560, and we have 360, right? So we have that done in the bag. Okay, then it says that they estimate that two pro, um, you're going to need two employees. I'll just change my pen color just because. So we have two employees working on this process. Each of them will work 40 hours and that'll be for four weeks and they'll be paid eight pounds an hour so let's just um if you like work out that first so we have two we have two times 40 times four times eight and we have 2560 pounds if you like in terms of valuing the labor cost so this is the labor cost yes two times 40 times four times eight if you like that's the total labor cost then it says that overheads are absorbed so this is labor and then let's look at overheads overheads are absorbed at 12 pounds per labor hour so the question here is well how many labor hours do we do we have so you have 40 hours a week times four weeks and times two employees yeah so you have two employees and each of them doing 40 and four as in in terms of 40 hours per week and then you have four weeks right times two and then of course you're absorbing at 12 pounds an hour so in terms of our um um labor cost sorry let me just put this in here so labor cost here is two five six zero so in terms of overhead cost i have 40 times four times times two times 12 and then i have here three three eight four zero right so i that's how i calculated my overhead cost this over here so in effect what we now have is that i have put in in terms of effort yes i'm sure you will agree just changing my pen color we have poured in this amount of kilograms into the system so let's add that all together so 700 plus 500 twice and that's 1700 kilograms gone in and we have a total cost Yes, of, of all of this, plus this, plus, plus this. So let's add that all together. So we have 950, 950 plus 560, plus 360, plus 2560, plus 3840. So we have a total value of 8,270, right? So I think we can dispose, because I just need the space. <laughs> I'll just do this, get rid of this, and create some space here. Um, yes, just create some space. Right, So, because I think we know how we've arrived at our figures now. So what we now, what we are now asked, or what we're now told is that, I mean, in a perfect world, right, if there were no losses and none of that, I would just literally spread this total cost over all my kilograms, right? That's what I would do. Just take this whole cost and spread that over that and value my, my inventory at that per kilogram. But it tells me that I expect a normal loss of 2%. So it's telling me that when oh, you're going to put in 1,700 kilograms, but we expect to lose 2% of this. So what is that? What is that 2% of 1,700 kilograms? That's 34 kilograms. So I'm expecting to lose these 34 kilograms. So I'm expecting only to get 1,700 minus 34 good kilograms come out. Yes, and that is one six 
0.66 good kilograms come out. In terms of the value of these what, these good kilograms, well, they will be, well, however how much we've put in, which was that, which is, of course, the value of that, minus the value of these 34 kilograms we expect to lose. And we're told that these 34 kilograms can be sold or valued at 30p. So 34 times 50p, I'm still doing this, it's still morning, so I can still do the math on that one. And that's 17 pounds. So I, in effect, have a valuation, a valuation of 8,253 valued on these 1,666 kilograms. So I can now, in effect, find the value, if you like. So let's just do this. Let me just fill this gap in. Here I have here 34 at 50p, and that's 17 pounds. That's what this question is asking. Then it says, now, what is the cost per kilogram assuming? So that's what I'm doing over here. So this is, this, if you like, what I'm doing over here, which is H253, H253 divided by 1666. And that comes to a balanced new cost of 4.953, 4 4.953, or 4.95 if you want to, to round it up. That's what I'm expecting, 166. Now, I can see a final question here. You see, it tells me here that actually what happened was I only had 1,600 kilograms come out. So I was expecting one. I'll just change my pen color. Let me just clean. I think I can, let me, I think I can clean this now. And then, remember, this is recorded, of course. And so um, you can now... You can always rewind. I'm doing this logically so that you, whether we talk about T accounting or not, the process is the same. You should be, you, I want you to be comfortable with, with both, with the idea. It's not the T account per se that's the thing. It's the idea that um, I was expecting one triple six kilograms to come out at four pound nine five three each. But what's really happened is that I have one thousand six hundred good kilograms, and therefore I have sixty six kilograms that are abnormal, right? Because if you like, I went from 1,700 to losing 34 kilograms as an anomal loss, expecting 166, but only 16,600 came out and therefore 66 of those kilograms are abnormal. But those are valued at the 4,953. Nine, so I have an abnormal loss, um, definitely. The quantity of that loss is 66 kilograms, and the value of that, of course, is 66 at four pounds nine five three. It's always valued at the standard full production cost, um, if you like, times 66. Whether or not we—that's the value. That's the value we assign to them, three two six point nine. Whether or not we sell them for that amount is a different picture, but in terms of the valuation of that, that's what they are. Now it's for us, for someone to explain to us why we have this um, this abnormal loss in the first place. Cool, great stuff. And so the answer there is 326.9. Cool, great stuff.